in the glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Find the glory. Lord, revive us again. Hallelujah. God, we come giving you glory. We come giving you praise today because you alone are God. There's none like you, none above you, none beside you. We celebrate God in this place. Father, we ask that you and you alone would get all of the glory, all of the honor, and all of the praise. Somebody said amen and say amen again. Well, we do thank God for his presence and his goodness and his mercy, and he is surely in this place. Would you give God a hand clap of praise wherever you are? Just begin to celebrate him for his love and his loving kindness. I want to honor this morning our jurisdictional prelate, Bishop Don W. Shelby Jr. Can we give God a praise for him? He is our spiritual father in the gospel. And sir, we thank you for the opportunity to be able to bring the gospel to the people of the world through this medium this morning and we pray that God will be glorified truly and to Lady Shelby we love you dearly we honor you highly and we celebrate you this evening hallelujah and to Bishop Roberson our host sir we honor you to the highest to the highest our assistant pastor elder Don Shelby the third is here thank you sir we honor you and to my brothers these preaching machines over here Pastor Stringfellow, Pastor Lewis, honor both of you, honor both of you. And we give God praise for this fabulous team that's making all of this possible today. God bless you. Well, let's go to the word of the Lord, shall we? If you have a Bible, uh, you can go with us to the 15th chapter of the Deuteros of God. We're going to the book of Deuteronomy, and that is where the word of the Lord will read for us today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Starting in the first verse, it declares, at the end of every seven years, somebody say seven, thou shalt make a release. And this is the manner of the release. Every creditor that has lent out unto his neighbor shall release it. Somebody say release it. He shall not exact it of his neighbor or of his brother because it is called the Lord's release. Somebody say release. Of a foreigner thou may exact it again, but that which is thine with thy brother, thine hand shall release, save when there shall be no poor among you. For the Lord shall greatly bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee for an inheritance to possess. Only if thou carefully hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all these commandments which I command thee this day. For the Lord thy God bless thee as he promised thee. And thou shalt lend unto many nations, but thou shalt not borrow. And thou shalt reign over many nations, but they shall not reign over you. Hallelujah. Verse 10, thou shalt surely give him, and thine heart shall not be grieved when you give to him. Because that for this thing the Lord thy God shall bless thee in all thy works and in all that you put your hand to do. And when you send him out free from thee, you shall not let him go away empty. Say, I'm not going away empty. Thou shalt furnish him liberally out of thy flock and out of thy floor and out of thine winepress. Of that wherewith the Lord thy God hath blessed thee, thou shalt give unto him. And thou shalt remember that thou wast a bondman in the land of Egypt, and the Lord thy God remembered thee. Therefore I command thee this thing today. Now, I want everybody in the place and everybody listening to say this with me. Say, I'm not going away empty. I'm not going to forget where the Lord brought me from. 
I will lend and not borrow because there has been a release. Now, somebody give God praise like you believe that that's the truth this morning. Hallelujah. This year, unlike other years, it directly precedes Rosh Hashanah, the week that we are in right now. And I believe that we are in a Kairos moment of God, that God has set us in time in a particular position that he might communicate something eternal about our location. And this holy meeting, this holy convocation is a set time in God. Our uh, presiding bishop said that on last night, that this is a set time of favor. And so we understand not only by the spirit, but by revelation of the book, that this is the holiest week in the entire year coming up, marking the beginning of 10 days of penitence and spiritual renewal. Coincidence? I think not. Not only is it declared by God to be the new year, but there is also a calendar within the calendar that declares that this coming year is a sabbatical year, a jubilee year, a, a shemitah year, which is translated release. Somebody say it. So we see here, like Daniel saw it, as of Tuesday, September the 7th, there will be a commencement of a brand new season. Somebody ought to shout like they believe it. And God's people are coming out. They are coming out of Egypt. Debts are being canceled. Properties are being returned. Mortgages are ending. Settlements are being released. Remuneration and harvest is coming. Blessing in great measure is on the way. Restoration, relational healing, restitution, posterity, and prosperity. God says, not man, God. He says, this is the time of your release. And we command it to be so. I have come to announce and to declare unto those that are under my hearing that this is your time. A season of favor, a season of change, a season of deliverance and recompense. Debt cancellation, poverty, moratoriums and seizures, wealth transferences and supernatural increase. On Tuesday, we exit 5781, and we step into 5782. That is also lined up with 2022. We are coming into a season 82 of 8, the number of new beginnings, 2, double unity. You are coming into a double jubilee, a double blessing, a double increase is coming to your house. This is the year of the two, so get ready, get ready, get ready to find your partner in what God has for you. Now let's move quickly through this word. We only have a few minutes. Around this same time, seven years ago, I began to preach this word. The Lord gave me this word, and we began to see miracles in our ministry. We began to see money we would sow, and it would come back a hundred times. We began to see people that were out of work coming into six-figure income. We began to see people getting promoted and people living uh, with someone else, getting the house that they lost back. Supernatural occurrences in the season of God. Somebody say rest. Somebody say release. This is a season of the Sabbath. God can do more in your rest than you can in labor. And he is calling you to peaceable fruits of righteousness. Say it with me. You have to cooperate with him. Okay? God is releasing it in time, and he is speaking in everything around us. It's not coincidence that the temperatures cool down this week. Because we're stepping into a new season. A shift has come in the cycle of God. A set time for an appointed blessing, an appointed grace, an appointed miracle to be released in your life. Somebody say yes. He who calls you is faithful, who also will do it. Now, we must not waste this time that we have been given. I want you to leave knowing two things this evening. The release has come. Somebody declare it. The release has come. And my release is praise activated. Have you ever wondered why some people are blessed and some people ain't? They eating the same food, drinking the same water in the same church. It seemed like it should be working for them too. 
Well, there is a principle, Psalm 22 and 3, thou art holy, O Lord, and you inhabit the praises of Israel. God touches down in the place where he is celebrated. If you don't have praise, you can't get God. And if you want God in this season, you're going to have to release a praise and mark the spot that God is about to pour out. I'm telling you, God wants your praise this year. This is a year of jubilee, and you ought to be in jubilation and celebration in anticipation of what God is about to do. Hallelujah. We pray it down in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for your blessing. We thank you for your miracles. We thank you for your release. Lord, this week you have declared favor on your people. Hallelujah to God. You have declared a season of your omnipotence being released. And so, God, we call on the help of heaven in the name of Jesus. Send down your power. Move by your mighty hand. Stretch it out. Stretch it out in the nations. Stretch it out in the church. Begin to do your bidding. God, we call for a heavenly ceasefire on demonic activity for 90 days. As we exit the year, give us a mind to work. Set us in place. Begin to move us forward. We got a work to do. Set your people low. Set them on fire. Give them a mind to work. Give them a mind to work. Give them a mind to work. Set it on fire. God, we pray now that you would begin to give fresh vision, fresh faith, fresh strength, fresh power. Do it, Lord. Do it, Lord. We need you to do it. Do it. In the name of Jesus, somebody clap those hands. Begin to give him glory. Begin to give God praise. It's coming to your address. My hand in the In the name of Jesus, God, we call. And we say, yes, Lord. Hey, Shondo Basi. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. And amen again. Praise God.